Hi friends, today we are going to cover one very important topic that's related with workflow and uh, this is something that is basic and you can use the same concept that I'm showing for other types of documents that is having a workflow. If I go to ME 23 and this is just an example and this is I have this purchase order and you have a workflow. Okay, you have a workflow, you go to here and you click on workflow and you click on workflow version. okay and here you can see all these workflows these two workflows are there. now there's a requirement that you have to build a custom report but you can get all these things generally what the, we do is we go we create a hotspot and then it comes here but you know that's another click and then you have to click here that's two three three clicks okay they want something right away so instead of clicking three clicks and the chances of because they will when I hit the hotspot, it will be, take me here, and then I have to click here one, and I click here two, and then I click three. So there is, there's like three chances of making mistakes, extra three chances of making mistakes. Okay, so now how we can make it simple? That's all about SAP. How we can make it simple, and if that involves a little bit of custom coding, doesn't matter. Okay, so what we can do is we have to find how to display it. Okay, so what I'm going to show is that solution. You go to SE37, and now here you put the function module and we'll load to execute. Uh, and here, what we are going to put is the service. So I have the service where I can get it. It's WF overview. So I'll go control wf underscore overview and this is the table where all the service gets stored okay now here i'll just click here and here i have to populate the object how will i get the object so it's very simple you go here and for each transaction code you have to build like this but but it it adds up at the end of the day so here you will put bus 201 to the object type so i'm putting bus 201 to okay and i'm putting the object key as this and I'll just populate this and here I'll go and hit back and now I will say X I'll just put X pop up I should say X and this one I'll show B okay and I'll just put a heck I'll save it test your workflow over okay I always do this because otherwise if there is a mistake or a dump I have to, I don't have to enter it again okay so i can just go here go to test data directory and get it so you see that's the magic you can do and now you click on execute okay and see you got it one click that's it so now i will show you another magic that you can do it's related with how we can start a workflow so lots of times uh, there is a process most of the workflows you generally start it through a release strategy but some of the workflows uh, i have worked they want something where they can start it at random so here what i'm showing is they want suppose workflow and you they click on start workflow so again there is three clicks okay and from here they have to select this and then click on start something like this how you can make it okay so uh, how we can show this pop-up instead of clicking and all those things how we can do that so let's do the same thing what we are going to do is the same thing here what here what i'm going to change is just the name wf start i'll change it and i'll populate this and the rest of the things are the same okay and we will just hit execute and guess what we'll get the pop-up so, so we save three clicks per document. Imagine you have so many, you have a report interactive VLV and that that you have built and you have a button start workflow and all those things. It would be wonderful, okay? So that this is the way. So very simple, use this function module, okay? Uh, and it will do wonders for you, okay? So the function module name is GOS underscore execute underscore service that's it straight into my sp channel and happy sp learning and have a great day